Hello and welcome to Young Minds vs. Physics. Physics made interesting. Yeah, what do you see here? The crow and the Archimedes principle? Yes, <laughs> we know it, right? But we were taught as a thirsty crow. But the physics people can speak about this as Archimedes principle. Yes, true. Long back before Archimedes, the crow knows. Mr. Crow knows. Uh, Archimedes principle. What do we see here? Right? The crow putting. Yes, only. One, only, only, only stones or pebbles. Then why not leaves and other things? Before we go to that, please subscribe and press the bell icon. So that you will get the notifications and please support and encourage me and share to the friends. Right. And here is a crow story. You can see like this is how it is taught that there was a thirsty crow and in search of water. It could find a pitcher of water but the water is deep inside. Therefore, it started putting the pebbles and you can see that. The water is coming up and finally it could drink water. So, so yes, Mr. Crow knows the principle. Afterwards, later on Archimedes discovered it and we are studying it as Archimedes principle. But it knows pretty well that. Yes, every object experiences a gravity downwards and if we put it in water, it experiences buoyancy. In its own language, it knows it, right? Therefore, it did not put leaf because if leaf is put, then it would float. And if it is flower, only a little bit of it would have sink. And that is why the crow has put only the stones. Are you thinking that I'm kidding? No. Not at all. Right. And that means crow knows that the lighter bodies float and the heavier bodies sink. And that is what we study as the bodies with less density than water floats and the bodies which are with a higher density than water sinks. And the upthrust experienced by the body due to the fluid makes the body lose its weight. I'm sorry to say it's not mass, it's weight. Right. And that is what Eureka, he said after long, 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 long years. Right. Mr. Crow knows it already. Mr. Archimedes just came to know and he screamed Eureka and then he ran to the king. Why do you think he did run to the king? Yes, here is a story about the Archimedes, uh, how he got the idea of uh, uh, higher denser bodies sink in the water. See, one day the king uh, uh like wanted to make a crown to crown to himself and he had given uh, gold to the merchant and uh, like then the jeweler had prepared the crown but the king now got the information that he had mixed uh, uh, the impurity that is the silver to the gold and uh, therefore he wanted to know the truth and then he called uh, mm, uh, then uh, Archimedes and he said come on now you tell me whether the gold which he used is perfectly the gold or he added some impurities then Archimedes started thinking so much and then he was taking a bath and suddenly he could observe that not suddenly every day it happens but it did not align us to think towards physics right so he was sitting in the bathtub and he could see that water coming out of the bathtub that means it had overflown of the bathtub as he himself immersed into the water so then he got the idea then he said eureka and he ran to the king and he said come on bring a bowl of water and let me see let me put the gold inside and then see whether he had used gold or silver he compared it with gold and silver and he can see that gold is sinking and more water is coming out 
uh, overflown from the bowl or the vessel than when it is compared with the silver thus with this theory he could find that there is a silver which is added to the ornament it is not pure gold thus of course because of this archimedes principle that fellow he got punished and this is all about archimedes principle what it says volume of archimedes equals the volume of water he displaces right so volume of a body equals the volume of water it displaces right so this is what archimedes principle is and uh, so easy so funny so realistic uh, it is every day is life observations and mr crow is much more better than all of us and now here you can see that archimedes principle can also be said in this way that the weight of the water displaced is equal to the weight lost by the heavier object as it is put into the water here you can see that 5 kg weight is put into the water and you can see that it is weighing only 3 kg that means 2 kg is lost by the water because of the upthrust that is called the apparent weight now the apparent weight which is not real is 3 kg because of the upthrust and that 2 kg water is collected just beside in the beaker right and thus you can state archimedes principle as a body totally or partially immersed in a fluid is subject to an upward force equal in magnitude to the weight of the fluid it displaces thus chronos how many stones can bring up the water <laughs> Yes, and later on, after so many thousands of years, we are able to understand that. And now we are using that for even for such huge ships to float on water. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and share with your friends and encourage my effort of making physics easy and interesting. Thank you once again.